Welcome to Well Rounded Mama's YouTube channel. We just wanted to take a minute to kind of talk to you briefly about some policy changes that have happened around the office. I know everyone seems to be in kind of a state where they're questioning how are things being handled? Who's open? Who's closed? Who can we meet face to face with? How can we do mm -hmm. things online? And it's changing on a day by day basis yes, for is. us as well. We're in this amazing group called Midwives Mobilizing for COVID-19. Yep. Wendy Gordon is kind of running that. She's mm -hmm. been doing an amazing job keeping us kind of abreast and bringing together the midwife community and how we can practice and function and keep families and ourselves well, because this is now in a state where keeping ourselves well and self Self-care has been like a huge thing. Midwives yeah. generally don't take very good care of ourselves. We don't make sure we sleep or eat well or... We eat, sacrifice. That we're burning up. <laughs> we burn the, can, the, the candle at both ends. Yeah. Is that what that's burning, called? Burning the wick at both ends. Yeah, I think that's a thing. <laughs> but we've been doing so good with our self-care. We are mm -hmm. self-quarantining those individuals who've traveled or come in contact with somebody who's sick. And we're being really good about making sure that we are following those precautionary. So we just want to thank our clients that are being so patient with all these changes in policy. I know little by little, it's gotten a little stricter and a little stricter. And we're so mm -hmm. appreciative of our clients coming in. If you have any questions at all, please reach out directly to your midwife so that they might be able to answer any questions or concerns you have. But right now we are doing telehealth visits, Zoom visits, office yep. phone calls, home visits, lots of home visits for our clients with other kiddos at home, especially with new babies. So we are able to kind of mobilize and offer all the screenings and things that babies need, which is really great for individuals not wanting to go to, to a pediatrician office. We can yeah. still kind of make sure that mm -hmm. your newborn is getting everything that they need. But we just want to take a moment to thank you and know that we are doing everything within our power. We've also sent letters and made phone calls to the governor's office and the National Guard and insurance companies to make sure that we are working and a part of this kind of community, helping keep our community safe. And so we're so grateful for you. We're so grateful for those of you who are making huge sacrifices at this time. We thank you for your continued patience. <laughs>